My grandparents knew the importance of empowering their children with education. I stand here as a product of that dream that was validated by education. I stand here boldly as a strong, empowered woman. I am Shudu Fadza Musida. So this morning when I woke up, I thought it was going to be so cold, so I was, I was a little skeptical about today. And then we get to the beach and it's absolutely amazing. Like we're in this wonderful costume, we feel so good, and it's, it's been exciting, it's been, it's been amazing. A healthy body to me means a happy body, a loved body. Um, I think that starts with a healthy mindset. I know there's a lot of things that we'd love to change about ourselves, but it's important to love your body at every single stage. I think once the body's happy and the mind is healthy, then the body can be healthy too. Shudapatso, what can I say about her? You are going to fall in love with her face. The girl is beautiful. She's got an ethereal energy that is infectious. She kind of walks into a room and she commands it. She's kind of one of those people that I think would be a best friend to me. And she loves a grandmother. A very clever girl. I enjoyed getting to know her. spot in the top five left. Who will it be, South Africa? Congratulations, Shudafat! Certainly oh. <laughs> not least, Shudu Fatso, and over to you, Zozi. Hi, Shudu. How are you feeling? I feel excited. <laughs> well, congratulations on making it this far. You've been doing an incredible job. My question for you is, in the past year, we've witnessed a global wave of mass demonstrations against gender-based violence and the Black Lives Matter movement. If you could mobilize a group of people what movement would you mobilize and why? I would call my movement the mindful movement. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death between pe people aged 15 and 29. Um, one in three people are expected to suffer from mental illnesses in their lifetime. So I believe that mobilizing people to strive for mental health would actually fix so many social ills in our society. And that is what I would mobilize. Thank you. First lady to score enough points from our judges and make it into the top three is Shudavatsu! from all the rounds of judging so far tonight and those scores will determine the winner and two runners up good luck first to take to the mic Shudu Fatso it is important for education to be prioritized in our society to change the narratives about mental health that exist. We have a collective responsibility to destigmatize and inform how we, as a society, view mental health. For any change to come about in our communities, we need to tackle the mind, the powerhouse. If the mind is conquered, we will go nowhere. As Miss South Africa, I'll be a representative of the beauty, resilience, and diversity that exists in this country. Thank you. Thank you, Sudafatsa. Ladies. For the last time tonight, good luck. The 
winner of the 62nd Miss South Africa title is Shudavata Mosida! It is a new dawn, South Africa.